Oh yeah, there's no fifth gear. Oh shit. shit. Oh god. Linking cashback code in the description. Rap, I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Can't happen. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Forza Horizon 4 back for yet another episode. Today, I wanted to test something pretty important. Now, this is something that I've been actually getting asked quite a bit about. And that's sim steering on the wheel. That's something that I have yet to do. I did a little bit of it on the demo. It was a pretty difficult thing to do. Now, I feel like we didn't have access to a lot of the cars in the demo to really test out sim steering properly and see how it does play. So today, though, I wanted to go through, maybe try some, uh, you know, stock cars out, like this GTO. I also have an S13 that is completely stock that I just ended up winning. So there's a lot of cars that I definitely want to drive for today. We're going to have some fun on the wheel. Sim steering, Forza Horizon 4. Thank you guys so much for coming around on the episode, and don't forget to slap that like button. Okay, so to start us off, we need to go in and change this to sim steering, and I figured we'd start off with low horsepower-ish, right? We kind of work our way up and just kind of see how it does feel. Sim steering right there, damage and tire wear, we're going to put that on to uh, probably just normal, because once those tires start cooking, they're going to get really hard to, you know, control properly on the wheel, especially with this sim steering. So we just- Oh! That scared me, to be honest with you. I thought I was done, man. I'm not going to lie. So we just were driving that at the start on normal. And now sim steering, it just it feels a lot snappier in that sense, right? I mean, the movements kind of, right? I do like sim steering, just not on high horsepower cars, right? That's when you really get, you know, the kind of this... I mean, that's where you get that kind of violent kind of snapback sometimes. But let's see how we do in this little roundabout. We don't really have anything tuned on this thing. It's just stock. Holy shit, that was nice. I was not expecting that at all. And we're still kind of sliding out here. Look at it go, man. This GTO. This is real nice. I love myself a GTO. It's definitely one of my favorite muscle cars. But these are so expensive as well, too, man. Have you ever seen a GTO go up for sale? You know, numbers matching. It's not cheap. And we are just killing this section right now. That was... That was actually damn well good. Okay. So far, uh, I'm liking this sim steering, man. Now, mind you, the car is very sloppy. Really, you know, just kind of, just a really soft suspension setup. I think we have about 400 and so horsepower. Oh, my God. What am I we got another car, man. We got a loaner car. Thank you so much. I would have just totaled that car, man. Imagine that. I do see a little spot up here. So far, though, there's not a big difference between... The steering's on sim and normal, at least on a car like this. That's something, you know, kind of oldish. Suspension's a little bit sloppy, right? I mean, not a lot, you know, not a lot of horsepower. Speed transmission, I totally forgot, I'm sorry. Let's, uh, let's send this on one of these corners. I see a nice little loop up here, actually. Let's see what we got. We got some speed, so let's see what we can do here. Fancy an adventure? Oh, no, nothing. There may be an abandoned classic involved somewhere, but, you oh, know, shit. any excuse. All right, so I'm not noticing too much of a difference on these cars. They're actually really easy to still control, even on that sim steering. All right, you guys can see that right there. Ooh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, at least I didn't crash a car. I, it does allow you to really whip this thing around, though, right? That's the nice thing about having sim steering. But I'm really curious to see how a higher horsepower car will go with the sim steering, right? Oh! Are you see what I'm saying, man? It's it's tough. It is not an easy thing here. Can just be really easy on the throttle? Yep, there we go. Oh, oh. oh yeah, there's no fifth gear. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done. That is why I'm not a big fan of the sim steering. If you guys use sim steering in this game, all the power to you. you know, whatever makes you sleep at night and you know, feel good about yourself playing this game. But I just do not like it. It, it. it makes it so stressful, I feel like. You just you have to be 
picture perfect where you, you, know, you can't make a mistake. And as soon as you do like this, say if I did that, oh, yeah, see what I mean? I mean, obviously, I didn't really lift off the gas, so that's kind of my fault, but we're going to go right into the water here. Yep. I love this car, man. I really do. For a four-door sedan, I love this car. Ooh. Eat those rotors up, baby. Look at those back rotors. Okay. Here we go. So let's see if I can get a little bit of a quick turn here, right? Just don't be too crazy with it. That was actually pretty damn good. We got some nice roads up ahead that have yet to be explored, man. First time road exploring right here. I don't know why I tried to drift that. That was a bad idea. You can't drift things that are not supposed to be drifted on that corner. It just it turns out bad, right? I mean, if you're trying to throw it into somewhere that just you're not supposed to. Oh shit. Oh, oh, just a tap. That was that was not good. Oh, I love those train tracks, man. I love going over those. Probably one of my most satisfying things on this game so far. I'm trying it, I'm trying it, hold it, throw a little clutch at it, come on, back tires just don't want to break, oh yeah, I overcorrected that, like I said, you gotta be perfect, you have to be perfect on sim steering, right, that's the biggest thing, we're coming up to a little roundabout, I think, actually, ooh, look at this, this is perfect little test spot, there we go, Second gear. I feel like this year is a lot more doable than other years on the sim steering. I think they've kind of toned down the way that the car reacts a little bit. I mean, that's just my personal opinion from the, you know, the last few things that I've had the experience on sim. Where I just, I'm not a big fan of it. Obviously, you know, you get a lot more forgiveness on the Horizon titles for sure. But I feel like it gives it that Forza Motorsport 7 feel almost in a sense, right? I mean, I don't know if that's kind of the way that you guys see that or not, but it's... You know, it's definitely interesting. I definitely do like it. Um, we'll see how it plays out if it just gets kind of, you know, undrivable for certain things. But for right now, though, at least, you know, I'm staying on the road in that sense. I mean, I'm able to control the car when it does get loose, unless something like that, right? That's a big mound, man. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I want to stay on this side. I want to stay on this side. Just a little bit of throttle. Here we go. Okay, that looks fun down there. I want to send it through those. Oh, shit. Going down. Payday, payday. We're going down. <laughs> oh my god. I want to get on this road. This is a nice patch of road, man. I cannot wait to drive up this properly. The full pa Oh. Okay. Oh, gravity right there. That's some bad nightmare shit. Wall just did coming alive on you. A little bit of dirt never hurt, right? That's all I'm saying. Definitely sucks though. I thought it's gonna be all paid. Maybe in the summer seasons it will be. I don't know. It's definitely hard not using the handbrake enough either. There we go. Look at this off-road section, man. This sim steering, I do like it for sure. Obviously, the higher horsepower you go, uh, the more snappier it gets. We are not lifting right now. This looks fun. Oh my god, that was terrible. Look at the ramp that we could have had. Here we go. Attempt number two. Yep. It's not terrible. <laughs> we just got this $10 million car in a recent wheel spin episode. If you guys missed that, definitely go check it out. They've been a lot of fun to record. The super spins, you know, the regular spins. And I've been kind of waiting to try this on sim steering too, so let's see what we got. It's a mean machine, man. Ford GT40. Lamal, right? I mean, this, it, this thing's a legend. We're driving on fresh roads as well. I've never been up here. That's pretty crazy. I thought I had been. Just going on a nice little cruise here. I want to see if maybe different view. Oh, look at this, man. This is, this is crazy. Now, just to confirm, I want to make sure... That you guys don't think that I'm not on sim steering. Because it is, you know, it doesn't really look like it's on sim steering, right? But we're actually, we're on sim steering this whole time. Um, but, right, I feel like they've definitely turned it down a little bit. You know, they made it a little bit more drivable for everybody. I definitely like that aspect because it was take a right this time up the hill. Ooh. 
right? It makes you drive. It just makes you drive a little bit more proper. I mean, I don't know. It's it's you know, it's definitely fun. Oh no no no! It's scary. Shit. I'm curious. I'm gonna up the force feedback just a little bit. We're gonna bring it up to about 79 here. Quite a bit. I usually don't run it this high, but sim steering feels a little bit lighter. Oh, we're going over tracks. Oh, I handled that. Okay. Uh, sim steering is definitely a lot better this year. Come on, clutch in. Bring that back. Bring that back. Don't hit the wall. Oh, my God. I don't know. You'll have to play it yourself. Tell me what you think about the sim steering. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Maybe uh, throw in. You know, maybe actually build some proper drift cars online. We'll see how we do. But for, you know, a proper free roam experience, sim the simulation steering is, I feel, definitely doable. I like this, man. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. We have a Forza Thon live event happening. Have some fun with Forza Thon live. Tell me your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.